Welcome back boys and girls. I hope you all had a great week. So before we jump into this week's lesson, let's talk a little bit about what we talked about last week. Does anybody remember what we talked about? We talked about how God made a promise to us. That promise was that he was gonna send somebody here. And so we're preparing for that by getting ready to celebrate what holiday? Christmas! Christmas, yes. Yeah. And so, Everybody was trying to prepare for, you know, the coming of the Christ, but nobody really knew what that meant. It was really kind of confusing. And so now the time has come. See, we're going to read about the story and how Christmas comes about. And everything was ready. And the moment that God had been waiting for was finally here. Isn't that exciting? God had waited and these people have waited forever, what seemed to be forever, and the time has finally come. Hmm, we're going to see about this, but how would he come? What would he be like? What would he do? Do we know any of these things? Do we know how he's going to come? Do we even know who, like, we have no idea. Oh, well, you see, God sent an angel, there's our angel, an angel named Gabriel to a girl named, do we know what her name is? Mary. Her name is Mary. The angel Gabriel came to Mary one day and in a flash of light, big flash of light, this angel came down to Mary as scared as can be because, you know, if a big flash of light came down as I was just sitting there minding my own business, I would probably be pretty scared too. And Mary said, whoa, what is going on? And Gabriel, the angel, said, do not be afraid. God is very pleased with you. Well, Mary said, okay, well, what does that mean that God's pleased with me? What does that have to do with me? And he said, you are the chosen one. You are going to carry a little boy, and his name will be Jesus. He's the one. He's the rescuer. So all this time, these people have been preparing and have been waiting for somebody magnificent to come. And now we find out that this angel Gabriel is telling Mary she's going to have this baby in her belly. Well, geez, I don't know. I probably would have been pretty shocked because if I was expecting, I would have been expecting somebody like this all around amazing walking person, but no. God is sending the Messiah in the form of a baby. Yeah, this baby is going to be amazing. And he said, she said, wait, she's so confused. God is sending a baby to rescue the world? But it's too wonderful, Mary said and felt her heart beating so fast. How can it be true, she wondered. Is anything too wonderful for God, Gabriel asked her. So Mary trusted God more than what her eyes could see, and she believed, I am God's servant. Whatever God says, I will do. So this week we learned about Gabriel coming to a girl named Mary to tell her that she's going to have a baby boy. She's going to name him Jesus, and he's going to be the rescuer of the world. Isn't that pretty awesome how a baby came into this world to rescue us and take our sins away? Yeah, next week, just a look at next week. Oh, what do you think's going to happen next week with Mary and Joseph? That was who she was going to marry. That's who's going to be Jesus' daddy. And we're going to learn about that next week. But this week, let's talk about it again. Who did God send? To be Jesus. He is going to send baby Jesus. But what angel? He sent an angel named Gabriel girl. to a girl named mm -hmm. Mary, Mary who was going to be the wife to Joseph. Uh -huh. And they were going to have a baby boy named, named baby, Jesus. baby Jesus. And he's going to rescue the world, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So angel Gabriel came to girl Mary said, you're going to have a baby. She was scared as all get out, but she said, I am God's servant. I will do what he says. Yeah. So we have to remember that. 
So this week, since we talked about angels, I have an angel craft online that mom and dad could get printed out and you guys can make it. So this is what it's gonna look like when you print it out. You guys can color it. And then you'll glue, you'll cut it out, you'll glue the bottom part on as a skirt and you'll have a little angel. And she should sit up on her own. Yeah. Or you might even be able to put her on your tree. To remind you that Jesus sent the angel Gabriel to a girl named Mary to tell her she was going to have the baby and name him Jesus. Yeah, pretty cool, right? So let's go ahead and practice our Christmas thing, okay? Remember our verse, for unto us a child is born. Bells are ringing, bells are ringing, baby Jesus born today. Bells are ringing, bells are ringing, baby Jesus born today. Celebrate his birth in Bethlehem, celebrate his birth with joy. Bells are ringing, bells are ringing, baby Jesus born today. Happy birthday, Jesus! Now, since we learned about the angel named Gabriel, we are also going to sing a song about angels, and we're going to count with this. Do you think you can count to ten with me? That's how this song's going to go. We're going to count. There was one, there were two, there were three little angels, there were four, there were five, there were six little angels, there were seven, there were eight, there were nine little angels, ten little angels in that band. Wasn't that a band on Christmas morning, Christmas morning, Christmas morning? Wasn't that a band on Christmas morning, Christmas morning soon? Let's also sing Jesus Loves Me because Gabriel, the angel, was sent to Mary, who's going to have baby Jesus. And Jesus was sent here to love us all. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. So we need to remember about the angel that was sent to Mary to tell her that she was going to have the baby named Jesus. And next week, we're going to talk about how her, how baby Jesus' mommy and daddy, Mary and Joseph, how they had to travel somewhere. Hmm, where do you think they traveled to? I don't know. We're going to find out next week. Let's go ahead and close in prayer, okay? Let's fold our hands and close our eyes. Dear Lord, thank you so much for sending the angel Gabriel to Mary to tell her that she was going to be the mom of Jesus. God, thank you for sending Jesus here for us. I pray that each boy and girl that's listening today, that they will have a great week ahead of them and will come back next week to continue to learn about the birth of Jesus. We pray this in your name. Amen. All right, kiddos. I hope you have a great week again. See ya. Bye.